Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to do another water jug test with the 12 gauge. And this time we're going to try the Hornady Superformance Monoflex Sabo Slug. When I first saw these slugs, I thought they looked really similar to the Hornady SST. But after my analysis video, they are different. Over here on the right we have the SST slug, and on the left is our Monoflex. They both weigh 300 grains, although the SST is 50 caliber and the Monoflex is 55 caliber. And of course the Monoflex is a copper solid, while the SST has a lead core. And also, don't mind my voice, I've been sick for the last few days, so it's kind of off today. So the Monoflex is definitely not the same as the SST. And as usual, we'll be shooting from about 15 yards away. Somehow the slug came out to the right side. Usually they come out to the left side because my sights are really off. I have to aim like two inches, maybe three inches to the right of a jug to hit dead center. So I tried that this time and it came out the right side of the jugs. Here's jug number one. Looks like we hit right here on the right edge. I was aiming probably around here. I really need to get those sights fixed. This is messing up all my tests. Blew our jug open pretty good, came out right there. Jug number two's entry. That's pretty cool looking. Came out right there. And it seems like it was veering off more to the right because our entry on one and two was like here. Now it's all the way over here. And it just cut open the side of jug three and we lost the slug. Well, that really sucks. I gotta get those sights fixed so I quit messing up my tests. But we're gonna try that one more time. I have to catch that slug. All right, I was running kind of low on milk jugs, so I improvised with a couple other targets behind the milk jugs. And this time I actually took a practice shot first to see the point of impact. And it's kind of weird, these slugs only hit maybe two inches to the right, when usually all the Sable slugs I've tested have hit four to even six inches to the right. So let's try that one more time. Hornady Monoflex Slug Water Jug Test.
Okay, so just like with the Remington Premier Expander, our first shot came out to the side and the second attempt hit really low. But we did at least catch the slug again. Jug one and two are over here. This is jug number one. This time I aimed just for the side of the jug. So yeah, I was only hitting about three inches to the left. With the Premier Expander I aimed here and it hit all the way on the very edge. So those super performances don't hit as far to the left as usual. So anyways, there's our entry hole on jug one. And that must be our exit right there. It's as labeled as four, but it's actually jug two. Entry hole. Looks like it's already veering to the left a little. Split it open. Not as much as jug one. Still a bit of damage though. And our exit must have been right here. And the rest of our jugs are still on the table. Once again, don't mind my voice, it's because I have a cold, it sounds a little weird. It's almost like I'm losing my voice. And it looks like our table has a whole bunch of damage on it that wasn't there previously. And look at the entry on jug 5. So the slug was almost like scraping along the table as it was going through. There's our entry, just barely split open. And our exit is on the bottom of the jug. So it was veering to the left and down because our entrance on jug one was like here and our exit on jug five is on the bottom and more to the left. So yeah, that slug was going like this through the jugs. See jug number six, entrance is on the bottom. You can see wood chips in there and then it must have bounced off the wood because the exit isn't as low now. And the slug is caught in jug number five. I think I said six on that last one, that was actually four. There's our entrance, and it put a little mark right here like it tried to exit jug 5, but it couldn't. Had I not hit the wood, it probably would have gone slightly further. Oh wow, that's an awesome looking slug. That is wicked cool looking. We might have lost a couple petals from hitting the wood, I'm not sure. That is just a really cool looking expansion. Those petals look awesome. And here's the slug before and after the water jug test. That's definitely a pretty wicked looking mushroom. And these petals are like really sharp. There's these ridges on the sides. It's almost like razor blades. See right here on the sides of those petals. These notches come up that are super sharp. And there's also a giant hollow cavity. So it's like a giant hollow point too. Our slug was originally 55 caliber or 0.55 inches in diameter with a length of 0.933 inches. And I'm not gonna measure where the petals broke off cause that's probably from hitting the wood. So over here where we're not missing petals, we're getting 0.833 inches or 83 caliber. And it now has a length of 0.572 inches. And the original weight, 300.7 grains and after the water jug test losing the red plastic tip and two petals on the side here we still have a weight of 286.9 grains well that's it for the Hornady Superformance Monoflex Sabo Slug water jug test unfortunately we had kind of bad results both attempts our first time it came out the side and our second time it hit too low had I not hit so low, I'm sure it would have gone through at least one more jug. It stopped in five after bouncing off the wood. I'm sure it would have made it at least into jug number six, possibly all the way into jug seven, but it wouldn't have gone further than that. I'm quite sure of that. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want, check out my Facebook page. I post short little shooting clips that you guys might enjoy. And if there's any other kind of tests you guys want to see, just make sure to let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.